Yo, what's up guys? It's a new year, new semester. Today we're gonna travel across all Vancouver and try to find the best coffee shop to study in. We're gonna take you with us, let's go. All right, good old Starbucks, good old eh? Starbucks. Good old Starbucks. I literally pay rent to this place. Every day during the final season, I come Just here. take my money. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be rating on four scales. Number one, it's a coffee, of course. And number two, it's a vibes. How is it actually for studying? And number three, we come up with a comprehensive study test. All right, a real life simulation of what it's like to study. And lastly, is it Instagram worthy? Because if you didn't take a picture, did you really study? Did you really study? Think about that. Cheers, man. All right, coffee taste. No, 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 no. It's a YouTube video about like coffee shops around Vancouver. Yeah, but no, no dating video or anything <laughs> like that. Dating. No, we're not. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next place. Let's go. Let's go, bro. So now we're on our way to La Forette with an accent on the E. Yeah. Dude, Paul. What's up? I haven't seen you so long. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. And I'm going back in like two days. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe your best semester? Best semester? Best semester? Three words. Motherfucking <laughs> man. After a refreshing trip to the washroom, we have arrived to La Forette. Cheers, bro. You got to oh. cheers. Come my on. Bad. My bad. Oh, that's actually so strong. I could definitely taste the caffeine a lot in this. What do you think about the vibes in here? But like, yeah, the vibes, insane vibes. Mm. There's an area for studying right beside us. And then there's tables along the middle jungle. And then there's an area where you just like chill out. It's a lot of space. Let's do our study test. Let's do it. All right, we got some knowledge and the laptop. It's like a little bigger than Starbucks table because it's a rectangle and math. Honestly, I'll come here as a date. Yeah. Just with this whole atmosphere, I feel like I'll be distracted studying. Is it Instagram worthy? Definitely. It is. Since the time we got here, I've seen like five or six people like take photos of themselves. So yeah. we got an indoor garden and natural lighting. Guys, secret right here. If you want to take pictures of you doing the rise and grind, got pictures of Floyd Mayweather like standing in front of him. He's like, no matter how many times you get knocked down, just stand back up. It's fucking lit. It's lit. So how many Starbucks stars would Lafayette get out of seven? Give it a 6.5. 6.75 for me. I would definitely come here just to chill. You know, when you're catching up with your bro that you haven't seen for like fucking years. years. Chat about your life, you know? Just feel the vibes, honestly. I gotta pee. Go for it. I gotta pee. All right, I'll go next. So. Now we're going to 49th and Parallel in downtown. This is apparently the best rated in downtown. So we gotta go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't make it. <laughs> Yo, we got screwed. Okay, 49th and Parallel. It looks like a roastery, so their coffee should be good. Cheers. Mm. Pretty damn good. Yeah, I like it. The aftertaste is like very flavorful. It's not bitter. Vibes. It's kind of like a bar, yeah. but with coffee. No alcohol. It's pretty cool. Cheers. Okay, um. <laughs> good shit. All right, now it's time for a comprehensive study test. Laptop. Knowledge. Does it fit? Hell yeah. Dude, I think this is the most space we had so far. Honestly, like at this point, nothing's gonna beat Lafayette for Instagram. I give it a 6.2. 6.25 for me. Yeah. I don't think it's like worth traveling for. Yeah. On to the next spot, let's go. Dude, you know why I grind every day? Why? Because I got fucking penthouse dreams, but a basement reality. <laughs> so I gotta make those my reality. All right, we just arrived at Aperture. We ordered two Americanos. This is actually pretty cool. So they gave us two cups. One with a very concentrated coffee and then the other one is water. So we gotta make our own Americano. Oh shit, cheers. Mm. I like the last one better. Really? Yeah. I like this one better. Hafu poured way too much water in his. 
and I poured just the right amount. So mine tastes even better than the one at La Forêt. Yeah, what do you think about the vibes? <laughs> I think the overall vibe is like focused energy. You come here to get shit done. All right, let's do the study test. So, um, we actually don't have any space right here, so we'll just add our own collection to the bookshelf. Knowledge. Around us there are actual tables and there's places for you to study. Is it Instagram worthy? Yeah. This is definitely Instagram worthy because like it has like this hip feel like it's what you girls want in your Instagram photos, alright? Yeah. It's what will get you extra likes. I think um, the name is called Aperture, which is talking about the camera lens. They designed it to be Instagram worthy. Overall, it's got a decent amount of study space, but the place is pretty small. So mm. how many stars would Aperture get? Give it a 6.4. 6.9 for me. This is a perfect space for studying because everyone's focused and the people around you make a big impact on how focused you are. Me and Paul are the only distraction here. <laughs> That's it for Aperture. On to the next place, let's go. So pretty. This is like a romantic movie. Right, this is our last stop here. We're here in Gastown and we're going to Revolver. And apparently this place has the best coffee in all of Hi. Hello. All right, our last stop of the day. Let's test it out. Cheers. It's like a, more on the sour side, like the fruity side of coffee. This is way too much coffee for the day. I feel high. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, how's the vibe here? Um, honestly, really good. I feel like this is like the best place to reconnect. It's like one of those movies, like you come here after like a long fight and then you just fucking like talk it out. You know, you're leaving soon. Yeah. I'll miss you. Me too. I'll be back though. I'll yeah, be back. but like in another year. In, a in another year, <laughs> exactly. Imagine how much we can go in another year. What do you think of like the studying space here? I think studying space over there is pretty decent. It's like one long table and out of this area is obviously for chatting. So like zero yeah, out of definitely 10. Definitely it's hard to study in this section because the, the music's really loud. Then um, lastly, is it Instagram worthy? Yeah, I would. It's, it's all right. Aspects. Yeah, it's, it's all right. All right, Paul. Yeah. It is time. We've gone to five coffee shops today across all Vancouver. Literally all across Vancouver. Where is the best coffee shop to study in all of Vancouver? I would go with Aperture for studying. I would have to pick Aperture as well because it's just got the study vibe. If you want to get shit done, go to Aperture. But, but. where is the best coffee shop, period? La Florette, hands down. La Florette. Hands down. Why? Because that place is literally on another level. It's like super aesthetic. The coffee's like pretty unique. And the vibes there, like everyone's yeah. just like talking. And honestly, I would go there like as a date. Mm. Or I would go there to look for a date. <laughs> so, guys, we want you to drop a like down below and comment below which coffee shop you thought was the best. And do this. Tag your friend and your friend's crush and say, you guys should go there and nothing else. You know, maybe we'll become matchmakers. Do it up. Cheers. One shot. Oh. Now let's go for a real drink. <laughs>